Here with Blake McIntosh, trainer and co-owner of Courtly Choice, whose connections have anteed up $35,000 to race the Pacing Colt in the Cane Pace, the first leg of Harness Racing's Pacing Triple Crown, set for Saturday at the Meadowlands as part of the Hamiltonian Day card. Blake, I want to talk to you about your Colt, obviously, but before that, I'd like to discuss the other horses in your division, a field of nine to contest the Cane, not a full field. Obviously, without you, only eight have declared. Did that number surprise you, or were you thinking the entry box would be only single digits? I thought it'd be about nine or ten. At least I was hoping for that. I didn't really want the twelve-horse field, and uh, you know, have the chance to draw the, the trailer. So I, I was pleased with the draw, and I figured there'd be around around that number. He's coming off a win in the Meadowlands piece, but what does it say about the connections' confidence uh, in your horse that they're willing to spend that kind of money when there was a race on the schedule that you could have gone in without having to pay that kind of entry fee? I think everybody just wants to try and, you know, win the big races and, you know, you don't get a horse like this very often and, you know, I'll probably never have another one in my lifetime and, you know, I wanted to try it and I've been lucky enough that my partners have agreed to do whatever I've asked to do. The Meadowlands pace was the last time we saw Courtly Choice on the racetrack. What's he been up to since then and what's his schedule for this week? Uh, we took him in Saturday and uh, Dave trained him over the Meadowlands in 51, last quarter like 26, 27. He was really good. Um, you know, he's a bit of a lazy horse, so to do that by himself, I was very pleased with him. Uh, this week, uh, he uh, hits the spa every second day, uh, jogs every day, and uh, Jess will train him a slow trip uh, tomorrow on 20. How would your approach as a trainer have changed with a field of 11 or 12 horses an extra eighth of a mile had that many entered? Uh, my approach wouldn't have. It would be up to Dave to figure out what to do from there. You've drawn post two on Saturday, uh, entered against the likes of Stay Hungry and Nutcracker, Nutcracker Sweet directly to your outside. Your thoughts on Saturday's field? That's a good field, good solid field. You know, like uh, there's four or five that can win it. In, oh, I should say there's nine that can win it in there. But uh, you know, there's uh, both those two horses you mentioned are, are top horses and will be uh, will be tough. You've talked about the difference in the past in this horse from age two to three and how he seems to want to win it more this year. At what point or in what race did you see something in him that made you say with like 100% certainty that he was more serious as a sophomore? I think it was actually training. You know, like I, last year training, he, he, you know, you'd have to work him a little more. And, and uh, this year we'd pull him up from behind somebody and he'd go right on by and, and want to do it more. So I could say training and then the first qualifier was a, was a big thing too. Was there discussion over the winter months to make the horse or attempt to make the horse more serious with some form of surgical intervention? Uh, Mr. Thompson was pretty much dead against that. He's pretty much dead against that on all of his horses. So I would have had to have gone down to Pennsylvania and begged and pleaded to get that done. So there was no serious uh, talk about it, no. Now you don't have a horse in the main event on Saturday, but how much does it mean to you to have a horse racing on Hamiltonian Day with the focus of the harness racing world on the Meadowlands? Ah, it's, it's a huge thing, you know, and I want to wish luck to Rick Zeron and uh, Anthony McDonald, you know, two Canadian guys to have a shot at it and hope they do well. And I just couldn't imagine having one in there, so good luck, guys. Do you have a, a Hamiltonian pick yourself? I'm going to take Atlanta. I want to see her win. I want to see the Philly beat the boys. Well, we know you're picking the cane, so obviously all the best on uh, Saturday, and thanks for your time. Thanks a lot.